Okay, folks, we're on a bit of a roll. Second video in a row. Typically, I listen to these before I do another video, but I'm not going to do it this time. No, I'm going to show you my new toy. And I haven't reviewed any firearms with you. Um, I usually keep this stuff private. I don't like being public with it. I don't think it's a wise thing to be doing. But then again, there's a point about this one I want to make. Several points, actually. Here is my new toy. PSA, Palmetto State Armory. Pretty nice little case. Not made too badly. They were blowing these out on sale. And I was thinking, geez, for that little amount of money, you know, I, I mean, I got a gun that I can, well... I can dispose of, in other words, if I was to lose this, if it was stolen from me, I wouldn't be crying too much because it's not a lot of money. And I heard good things about these. And when I went into the to my FFL to get the thing, I told them, well, I think it's going to be a car gun for me because, you know, I mean, if somebody steals it from me, I'm not going to be crying like I would over an expensive FN. And the guy says, don't you go thinking that that's a cheap gun. Don't you know those guns? They're they're highly regarded. Don't you think they're a cheap gun? He was right. He was right. This thing feels so good in my hand it makes me want to toss away the FN or at least try to cash it in because it's worth some big bucks. It's probably worth seven times what I gave on this thing. That big of a difference. However, it does have its limitations. Now, I'm going to open this up in the case, and it's got a safety pin and a doggone breech, you know. It comes with one of those. Well, you'll see it. And so, I'm not going to bother to go through handling this thing and managing and showing you that it's safe on the goddamn internet just because people are all upset about guns and, oh, you got to show that it's empty and all that stuff. I will show you the indicator, though. By the way... I took it out twice. It's broken in now. I still haven't fired it enough. I can't. I can't vouch for its functions. I had a little bit of trouble. I consider that it's a green gun. It needs to be broken in. Uh, Semi-automatic. I figure you need 300 rounds through it to really, really get it broken in. So I would say any of the uh, any of the hangups that I experienced, the malfunctions were operator error. So this is it. Okay. Comes with two magazines. The magazines are metal magazines. It's an insane capacity. It holds 23 rounds in a magazine. Plus you got one in the chamber. There are several features I like about this. It's made in America. It's affordable. It's got to be 3D printed. I don't know how else you can make these things so cheap. But I will have to say this. Palmetto State Armory did a lot of right things with this. Now, is it is it a finely made? Well, it's finely designed. Okay. Chamber indicator. Right there. It also has a loaded chamber indicator here. But this thing, okay, I'm going to change my mind. I will go ahead and rack it so you can see. It fell through the doggone gun. Now I got to fish it off the floor in the dark somewhere. This fits my hand so wonderfully. I, I, and the, the grip is really, really nice. It's a wonderful feel. It's a very basic gun. There are no adjustable sights. I got news for you. On my expensive FNs, I never adjust the sights anyway. They always seem to be right, or at least so close. It doesn't amount to a bit of difference to me. But the FNs have been tuned, and they, uh, the five sevens, and they actually are very accurate. Um, and that that is a gun that can be a, a handgun that can be used for self-defense, but it's got a separate safety, and the safety's about up here, so you have to manipulate it. 
And if you are fearing for your life, you're going to be full of adrenaline. You're not going to have any time to think except shoot or don't shoot. You're not going to have any way that you're going to be able to take the time to get that safety off reliably. You're, you could miss it. And it's in a nice place for me, but most people complain because it's not in a typical place for them. This, on the other hand, has got the safety right here in the trigger. See that little tab? Yeah. It's like a Glock safety. I don't like Glocks all that much, but I'll tell you. And this isn't really a great trigger, but it's just perfect for its application. This is a self-defense gun. It's not a target gun. It's not that accurate, I don't think. The cartridge is inherently accurate. Now, I fired everything in a decent zone, but I was not trying to shoot for accuracy. I was just trying to shoot because I'm trying to polish the barrel with the rounds and clean it up so that the dust and the dirt doesn't get embedded in the steel permanently. That way I've, I've got an easier to clean gun for the rest of the life of the gun. And it helps with the accuracy a little bit, but I'm not after that much accuracy with this. It's not a hunting gun. Could be used for that. It's not a target gun, but I'm going to put it to that use to see what I can do with it. The ammunition is very expensive on one of these. You don't want to buy one of these unless you can shoot it a bit. And to shoot it a bit requires a lot, a lot of money. So I bought some practice ammo for 50 cents a round. Pretty expensive for ammo. The good ammunition on this is like a dollar, well, it's like 75 cents or a dollar a round right now. And the really good stuff is like a buck 30 a round. You can't get it anymore. It fits my hand better than the FN. It has a trigger that allows me to engage it. And, and it's got a safety in the middle of it. Right there. I like that quite a bit. You uh, know, it's, it's new. Cut myself in the first round. I caught my finger. Dumbass me. Springs are real strong on it. Would I recommend this for an older person? Um... Uh, I would recommend this to just about anybody. The only the only question would be, do you have enough strength to manipulate the slide? If you don't have enough strength to manipulate the slide, I still would say this might this is a good carry gun, but if you have a magazine malfunction, you know, you may not be able to to deal with it cuz you're going to have to rack the slide with your hands. But You've got one in the in the chamber, 24 coming up the pike, 24 rounds. That's enough so that if you had a little gang, you could have a party and stop them. And that's what it's about. So if you're being attacked by a swarm of a half a dozen guys, and this is a loud cartridge and it's accurate and it's inherently, inherently powerful. You pull one of these out against six men, you have half a chance because you can be on target very quickly. Your follow-up shots are very, very fast. There's not much recoil with it. It's louder than snot on the other end. And they are going to be shaking in their boots at the first round that goes off and each one that goes off after that. So you've got that deterrent feature right there. It shoots a tiny little 22 caliber bullet. Do you see that tiny little hole? It's actually a 222 Slightly bigger than a 22, but it's also shoots a, a cartridge with a with a uh, it's a center fire cartridge, so it's got a center primer, much more reliable than a rim fire. And your ammunition, your standard pokey ammunition, the slow stuff out of this, flies at a whopping 1,700 feet per second. How much damage can that do? I used to call it a a major Hassan special after the psychiatrist who went nuts and killed 13 people. He had a 357 with him and a 57, and he shot just blue tip off the shelf. Little 40 grain, kind of a hunting round. I killed a halibut with one one time with one shot, 
and it shocked everybody in the boat so badly they demanded, you better not shoot again because it was very explosive and the water came up and hit the gun, hit me in the face. I mean, it was explosive and that fish just didn't move a muscle. It's a little over a hundred pound halibut. Yes, we shoot our fish in Alaska for safety because if we don't kill the fish before we bring the fish into the boat, it will kill us. So don't tell me we don't use handguns in shooting. And sometimes we use 410 shotguns on them too. But one shot of this little thing, that fish just flattened right out. I didn't have to shoot again. And they didn't want me to shoot again because it just scared the hell out of everybody. It's so loud. This is a bottlenose cartridge, a rifle round. And it is a NATO standard. It became a NATO standard a little, about two years ago, I think it was. And so we're going to see a lot more of that cartridge around. And it's really an ideal self-defense cartridge. Um, what else do I want to tell you about this? $300, $299. Now, this is the bad news. We have, and I'm going to explain this in detail, and we're going to cover it on this little punky gun, this cheap-ass gun, so you can understand how much you are being infringed. I reflected upon this. $299 on sale, $500 gun. By the time it was delivered to me, I was out $375. You may think, well, that's not much money. Well, it is. 75 bucks is a lot of money to me. So there's a $25 transfer fee on a service that we don't have to have that's, that's unconstitutional. It's not part of the... It's in violation of the Second Amendment. And I got I to gotta pony up 25 bucks to do that and go through that horrible background check and they make mistakes on those things all the time yeah it's easy to get denied on those and you people think you can still buy these on the internet and get them sent to your house there are people out there that think that they're so naive no baby that was before the presidents were assassinated and they failed to investigate those assassinations instead they laid that all on us and some extra laws Used to be able to order these things out of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Well, not these, but you could order your guns out of Sears and Roebuck catalog and they were delivered to your house and guns were cheap. I think that rifle that they claim Oswald used, which he didn't use, there were many shooters involved in Dewey Plaza that day. I think it was like 1198. You could have that rifle delivered, buy it and delivered to your house. Yeah, look at one today and what they cost. So you have, I had to pay county tax, city tax, state tax. And that added up. Matter of fact, that added up to about 50 bucks. I'm not kidding. So there's another infringement. $50, so I'm up to $75 in infringements, right? We aren't done, folks. There's a little known, well, to the average person, hidden tax on all firearms and ammunition. And you don't see it because they don't add it to the price of the gun when you buy it. It's added into the price of the gun when they're selling it to you, so you don't get to see it. It's a federal tax, unconstitutional. We passed that for the purpose of conservation because everybody felt good. Everybody wants to be a conservationist. How about conserving my money and my funds? 11% tax on this. 11% of the price is Whitney Bowles tax. So when you buy a gun for $300, you're not aware of that. They don't show it to you because you get upset. But that's $33, which kicks up our total infringements on this gun to 106 bucks. Wow. Out of 375 way over $100 in infringing taxes. 
And this is a Second Amendment right, and they're taxing it. It's unconstitutional to tax a right. They're not allowed to do that. I wish one of these gun organizations would step up and sue the federal government and end this. Now, you may say, well, you got to be willing to do that. Well, I did it, okay? I did it because it's no choice. But what about if I'm living, squeaking by with barely any money coming in? I can afford to feed myself. But I'm not allowed to defend myself because I can't afford all of those taxes on top of it. So what should be the real price of this gun out the door? $267. Now that for $267 is a steal. It is a good buy. But that's what it should be costing us. And you think your Second Amendment rights aren't being infringed. Folks, I recommend that you get one of these if they're on sale next time. It's American made. I love the design. Fits in the hand really nicely. Um, I haven't done much except break it in. And I caught myself one time on the slide. It's not nearly as refined as a as an F and H, you know, FN made firearm, made in Belgium. But you know, American ingenuity is pretty good. I would have to say, for personal defense carry, this beats the FN hands down. It is a better product, and it's a lot cheaper. And to think, it's American made. Okay, folks, this should be number 107. The Yahweh bless. Look, in case you're wondering, it said really simple. Yahshua asked them, if you had two cloaks, sell one and buy a sword. Here's your modern sword, folks. This is a, a gun. I won't call it a weapon. A weapon has a specific legal definition. It has been used in the commission of a crime. This is not a weapon. This is an armament. And I bought it brand new. It hasn't been used. And unless shooting at the paper is a crime, it's a clean gun. And it's going to stay that way. I hope I never have to even draw this thing in self-defense, much less pull the trigger. I don't want to do that. I don't look forward to that at all. Always, if you can, well, having eye protection is a good idea in a self-defense situation. Might not have time to put on eye protection. Ear protection is necessary. Self-defense situation, and it doesn't come with a threaded barrel, and you're not going to carry a big suppressor on the end of that anyway. Ear protection is a wonderful thing. Me, my hearing aids, I got the noise gauge cranked up on full. So it'll mitigate some of the noise. <sighs> You're not going to have time. Crack your jaw open slightly. And that'll block your restriction tubes and protect your ears somewhat. Of course, prevention, knowing where danger is and avoiding it, is definitely worth an ounce of cure. I mean... This is just too wicked to be doing to each other. But with society as unstable as it is because of the jackasses who run it, and I'm talking to both wings of the dirty bird, I'm talking about both the Democrats and the Republicans, I'm an evil opportunity here when it comes to that stuff, folks. I want us to return to our constitutional rule. I don't see any reason why we can't all be carrying firearms like this on ourselves to defend our very lives. That's the way it used to be, folks. We were sharp-dressed men. We carried our arms almost everywhere. Didn't always have to do it, but we could. Can you do that in your state? 
Can you actually strap one of these things on and walk around in public with it? Most places you can't do that. It's got to be concealed. I'm an old man. I'm getting slow. Conceal slows me down. I got to I gotta somehow finagle through my clothes and all that to get to it. Still, it's better than not having one on you. Ladies, I highly recommend you get yourself a 5'7". These things are really accurate. And you're more accurate too, by the way. I have never taken a woman out shooting who didn't outshoot me. Seriously, you have better hand-eye co coordination than we men do. You're natural shooters. I thought I'd want you shooting at us, mind you, but if you're armed, you can defend yourself, and I feel better. I feel safer. Not only that, you can defend me, too. I don't mind it if there's a bad guy there, and you pull one of these things out and stop him on the spot. I'd really like that. That would be really nice of you protect an old man like me well our society is so weird these days that I can't say that I'm going to just go protecting a stranger with my guns we're in too much trouble we're not able to defend ourselves they wreck us over the coals and the courts and these courts are horrible it's maritime admiralty law that's not constitutional law we need to return to self-rule. We need to restore our republics. I'll tell you more about that in another video. I've covered everything I can about this. Imagine $111 or so in infringements on this little gun that should be costing $267. American ingenuity, manufacturing at its finest. Yahweh bless.